Developing out of Habersham County, investigators have an update in a Georgia mother's disturbing death. She was found partially clothed and burned in a heavily wooded area more than 50 miles from her home. Fox 5's Kevin Stewart has more on this disturbing case. Yeah, this morning was the first time that reporters got to talk to investigators first face to face and ask them uh, more specific questions. And I can tell you that they are uh, trying to scour the entire region, looking for pictures and video, uh, try to connect the dots and uh, trace Debbie Collier's movements. And to that end, I want to show you this video. This It's actually a snapshot that was just released this morning, uh, the day before she was found dead. This is her car driving northbound on Georgia 15 around 215 on September 10th. That would be in the direction of the Clayton family dollar. Uh, that's where she was last seen alive. This afternoon, investigators say they will release a new video which shows her leaving the family dollar and sitting inside her car for about 10 minutes until about 320. Keep in mind, it was about that time Collier's daughter said she received money from Collier through Venmo and a note saying, quote, they are not going to let me go. Love you. I was at 319 because we see her in that vehicle leaving the parking lot, heading southbound on Georgia 15. There is no information or evidence to this point that shows that this was something random, that there was something that was, out, that was not uh, from somebody that she either knew or somebody who she had uh, some association with. Now, we may be weeks out from getting an autopsy and finding out how she was killed, but investigators insist this was not a suicide. They believe this is a homicide. They said they're not backing off of that. We'll get into that coming up at 4 o'clock. But for now, we're live in Clarksville. Kevin Stewart, Fox 5 News.